All right, we've got Amjad Yaman and the GSRC Aston Martin, so let's do a lap around the Nürburgring. Coming down to turn one, you've got to remember there's a kink in the braking zone adding to the difficulty of maximizing your entry. This is one of the best spots to pass on the circuit, but the radius of this turn is so sharp that it's easy to get tangled up with other cars. From here, we're brought into the Mercedes Arena, which is the slowest and most technical section of the track. Thankfully, it's pretty wide throughout here, so it's not a strictly single file affair. Even still, I've always found this little chicane in 3 and 4 to be both frustrating and lacking any kind of fun. Your mileage may vary, but as for me, I could do without those extra turns that don't seem to have much rhyme or reason. As you exit back onto the old course, you'll switch sides to set up for turn 6. This is a deceptive corner which could be taken faster, but is best used as a means to set up the forward curve, which is more critical. Sharper and slower, this bend requires a good launch because you've got a decent stretch downhill before you're braking for the Dunlop hairpin. High speeds and heavy deceleration usually equals a passing opportunity. And though there is a fair bit of banking here, defense around the outside is pretty tough. So it's a case of the best offense is a good defense. After that, cross the track and get ready for the Schumacher S. These are some fast sweeping corners, and in the Aston you can get pretty aggressive on the curbs to straighten it out even more. Out of there, you'll cross the track yet again for another set of S's, but this time slower and longer. Turn 11 can sometimes offer a chance to pass, but they usually require a mistake from the car ahead, so I wouldn't count on it often. Then you've got the Bilstein Curve, which can become a make or break corner depending on your situation. Backing it up for a good run out of there is ideally what you're aiming for. That's because you've got one of the longest flat out sections of the track ahead of you. Coming up is going to be the Vidal Chicane, which you don't want to try side by side. We're taking the faster version in this layout, but it's going to slow everyone down and cause some risky scenarios every time it happens. After that, the final corner is a straightforward hairpin. Late apex it to aim for the best exit onto the main straight and allow yourself the ideal attack or defense. But as you cross the line, you've now finished a lap around the Nürburgring.